Welcome to your 5 News at 5. I'm Darren Bob. And I'm Erica Thomas. We begin tonight with the School Safety Commission. With the start of the new semester right around the corner, school safety is at the forefront for Arkansas lawmakers. Yeah, the Arkansas School Safety Commission made some recommendations, handing it to the governor today. 5 News reporter Malia Masumoto tells us what it said. Malia? The commission also shared a proposal for a $50 million safety project grant. They recommend everything from increasing mental health counseling for students to physical safety upgrades for their school buildings. The 24-member commission outlined several key strategies to keep Arkansas schools safe. There's not one single thing that a school can do that's going to make that school safe. That it has to be a combination of a variety of things. That combination includes expanding youth mental health training, establishing behavioral threat assessment teams, and making sure there is a culture of compliance at schools. Director of the Commission Dr. Cheryl May says not having a layering of security measures or accountability was a downfall in recent tragic events. It was very clear that the Robb Elementary School had a, had a culture of noncompliance. We can't allow that to happen uh, in our schools, so that accountability is so important. The commission also recommended a $50 million school safety grant that will be the topic of discussion in next week's special session. The intent is that this could be used for uh, upgrades in security, uh, access, uh, you know, cameras, or, or specific recommendations. Other major recommendations include requiring an armed presence to be on every school campus at all times. They also recommend changing state law to make sure all doors and windows are locked during school hours. Many of these recommendations may require legislation, so they'll be working with lawmakers in the coming months. Making sure we uh, are vigilant in an ongoing way to make sure Arkansas schools are as safe as they possibly can be for our students. All right, Malia, thanks. A new study from Wallet Hub shows Arkansas ranking number one for early education. Yeah, to help parents find the states with the best early education systems, Wallet Hub compared 50 states and the District of Columbia across 12 key metrics, including sheriff school districts that offer a state pre K program, number of pre K quality benchmarks met, and a total reported spending per child enrolled in pre K. And after all that, Arkansas came in first place, Nebraska came in second, and Maryland third, while Missouri, North Dakota, and Indiana came in the bottom three.